do And they were all yellow I came along I wrote a song for you And all the things you do And it was called yellow So then I took my turn Oh, what a thing to have done And it was called yellow Hello, my name is Drew James um, and I'm playing Yellow by Coldplay, the correct way to do Yellow. So um, I've seen quite a few tutorials on YouTube when I was doing my research for this and uh, I couldn't find anything that had the right guitar tuning. So there's plenty of slightly easier versions out there uh, where you're putting a capo and, um, and you're playing it that way. But what they don't get right is the actual tuning of the guitar. And I'm going to be showing you how to change the tuning, even if you've never changed your um, tuning before of the strings. I'll be taking you step by step through how to do it. We're just take changing two strings, uh, the E string, uh, sorry, the uh, D string and the bottom E string. And that will give us the correct way of doing yellow. I mean, that first chord, this tuning sounds just like the recording, which I really excited to share with you. Um, so without further ado, let's learn how to do that. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, you're gonna need to change the tuning on your strings, only two strings. So the D string or the third string down needs to be tuned down or loosening to B. And the thinnest string needs to be tuned down or loosened again to D sharp. So I'm going to be showing you a way to do that um, by ear. If you've got an electronic tuner, then just start loosening your string and make sure it's on a chromatic setting uh, until you see the letter you need. So you start loosening until the D string starts to say B, okay? But I'm also going to be showing you a way to do it by ear and um, using relative to the notes you already got. So the second fret here on the A string is a B. So if you strike that, you've got a B, and that's the notes that you're gonna tune the D string to, okay? So, you, so at the moment, the D is far too high, so you're just gonna start loosening it. And you're gonna to have to loosen it quite a lot, probably um, a turn and a half, maybe, on your acoustic. See, it still sounds out of tune. They don't sound together, so I'm gonna keep loosening. Still sounds out of tune. And now they're getting there. You hear that sounds exactly the same. They're the same note. Second fret on the A string and the string below it, zero, it's the same note. Okay, so with the thinnest string, the fourth fret on the B string is a D sharp. So you're gonna play that, and then the string below has to sound the same. And at the moment you can hear they certainly don't. So start loosening. Nearly there. And there we have it. So you won't need to loosen that one half as much because it's not going as far down the musical alphabet. And that's in tune. So we've got our D string tuned to B and then we're good to get started with the lesson. Okay, so this song has five chords in it. No, six chords actually, six chords. And um, let's get started with showing you what those chords are. The chances of you knowing them are quite unlikely, so um, I'm gonna be taking you through each one. So the first one, take your index finger, put it on the seventh fret on the thickest string, 
and take your middle finger and put it on the eighth fret on the G string, okay, or the fourth string down, and then take your, and then that's it for your first chord, okay? Sorry, seven, nine, and eight. I'll start that again. Seven here, ring finger on nine on the A string, and middle finger on the G string on the eighth fret. So seven, eight, and nine. So you've got a gap of one string in the middle here, that D. And that's your first chord, strum all six for that. Okay? Then all you're gonna be doing, quite simply, is you're gonna take your pinky and you're gonna press it down onto the ninth fret on the same string that this finger's holding down. So it's gonna be nine now, so seven, nine, and nine. That gives you the next chord you're going to need. Okay, so we're gonna call this first chord B and this chord B add 11 with the pinky. Okay, so let's have a look at that intro now with the rhythm guitar. Okay, so the rhythm hand is going down, 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 down. I'll do that again. Down, 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 miss, miss, up, down, 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 up. A little slower. Down, 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 miss, miss, up, down, 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 up. Okay, a little faster. And I'm just putting a louder strum on the fourth down. One, two, three, four. And then take your pinky, put it down to make the B add 11 and do the same rhythm. And do that twice, and that's your intro. Start the strum with a rake. A rake is a slow strum, like that. Okay, so this is the intro again. And then we're into the full rhythm. Now this rhythm isn't going to change uh, for some time, so let's just make sure we've got this right. It's down, 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 up. So it's nice and simple. Down, 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 up. And this time I'm putting a louder hit on the third downbeat. Listen. One, two, three. So for every chord, you're gonna be doing four of that rhythm pattern, unless I tell you otherwise, okay? So we're now into, um, this is what we're doing when the lead guitar's coming in. The Then we're changing to this F sharp six. So index finger on the first fret on the B string, middle finger on the second fret on the, on the third fret, sorry, on the uh, G string and ring and pinky on the fourth fret on the A and the D string. Okay, and finally, bring your thumb up over the top. It's optional to put this thumb in, and I was actually finding it quite challenging in the performance. But you can bring your thumb up over the top to hold down the second fret on the thicker string as well. Okay, so that but that one is optional. You can do it like this. But bring the thumb up and it makes it a bit more rich and strum all six strings. Once again, four on that. So that's an F sharp six. We're then going to an E major seven. So if you know how to make an E, that's great because all you're doing is you're just lifting up your ring finger. If you don't, then index finger on the first fret on the G string and middle finger on the second fret on the A string. By the way, if you don't know the names of the strings, Eddie eight, dynamite, goodbye, Eddie. E A D G B E. Four on the E major seven. And then back up to the first chord, the B. Then put the pinky down. And then lift it up on that upstroke. I'll do that slowly. This is when it goes back to it. Pinky down. And just go down, up. Lift up the pinky to reveal to the chord there. And then you're into the singing part, which is exactly the same chord progression as we just did. So four Bs, and I just play this a bit quieter, just hitting the top few strings so that the voice can stand out. Look at the stars, look how they shine for you. Don't forget to put in the accent. One, two, da, 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 da. E major seven. And they were all yellow, and again. 
so that I took my Okay, and we do that order of chords, the B, the F sharp 6, the E major 7, you do that three times. When you've done it for the third time, you're going to go back to your B as normal, then put the pinky down, and do that down up, lifting it up. I'll do that again for you, because I think that bit's really important to get right. Down, down, down. Okay, and then we're into the chorus. E major seven, just for two of the rhythm pattern this time. Then we're gonna to go to a G sharp minor. So take your ring and pinky finger, hold them on the fourth fret on the D and G string. Your middle finger hold down on the fourth fret also on the E string. And make sure that middle finger is muting the next string down, the A string. That's your next chord, play that for two. Well, it's just one actually. E major seven, G sharp minor, then to the F sharp six, the second chord that we learned, the, sorry, third chord that we learned, for just one. And that's your chorus. So E major seven, G sharp minor, sharp six, major seven, turn in. G sharp minor, something beautiful, major seven, you know. G sharp minor, so the rhythm is slightly different after at the end of the chorus. It goes down, 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 down. This way, up, down, down. Do that slowly. Down, 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 down. This way, up, down, 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 down. Don't forget to do the miss, miss there. Down, 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 down. This way, up, down, 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 up. And then strum and hold. You know. And then we're back into basically the intro, okay? So I'll just do the end of the chorus. I think it's important to get that. Then what we're going to do is we're basically going to go round in a circle with everything. So we're going to do the intro, which was the B, B with the little finger, um, down to uh, the F sharp, uh, the F sharp for four, um, the F sharp six, sorry, then to the E major seven for four, and then back up to the B with that pinky down, pinky up on the down up. Then you're going to do another verse, exactly the same, okay? Same chord progression. This time you're only going to do it twice through. So B four times, F sharp six four times, E major seven four times, twice. Okay, then with that end of the chorus, doing the same as I showed you before. The chorus is exactly the same, just different lyrics. E major seven twice, G sharp minor twice, F sharp, sorry, G sharp minor once, F sharp six twice, okay? And the interlude, which is basically, so that's where the lead guitar is going, that's the same as what we did in the intro. So um, B, four times, F sharp six, four times, E major seven, four times, back up to the B. And then the ending, it's true, look how they shine for you, is exactly the same as our verses. I mean, I'll sing it through with you just so that we can reiterate it. So it's B, look how they shine for F sharp six, look how they shine for E major seven, Look how they shine for back up to beast. Let me do that again, okay? And then on the look how they shine, the last one, when you go back to the B and, it, and the rest of the drums and the guitars all sort of go away, it's just Chris and the guitar, we're going to go to a B again. Look at the stars, look how they shine for. So that's the same rhythm as the intro. Down, 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 Miss Miss, up, down, 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 up. Look how they shine for you. Then we've got this new chord, okay, which we're going to call an F sharp minor 11. Put your index finger on the first fret on the thinnest string, middle and ring finger on the second fret on the D and G string, and then if you like, bring your thumb up over the top to hold down here onto the second fret on the thickest string. Make sure the thumb is muting the A string. And then we're going to strum that. And all the things 
that you do. Then a slow strum for the E major seven. So that chord there, that just sounds so authentic to the record. It took me ages to, to really understand that. So we're gonna go from the B. Look at the stars, look how they shine for this new chord, whoops, <laughs> didn't do a good job of it there. Uh, look how they shine for you. And all the things that slow strum. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. Uh, this lesson was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. Uh, if you do like Coldplay, then I have done another six more of their lessons. I'm a big Coldplay fan. Uh, so if you do like Coldplay, like Mumford & Sons, Radiohead, uh, Indie, Acoustic, I also do a lot of finger style instrumentals as well, and even a little bit of classical guitar, um, then have a look at my website, learnguitarinlondon.com. There's lots of patient lessons there. Uh, I always try to teach with patience and understanding, and I don't presume you have too much knowledge on the guitar already. That's what sets my lessons apart. So if that's your bag, then uh, click on the link above and I shall see you over at the website. Uh, this channel, the YouTube channel I'm posting this on, I upload two new video lessons for guitar every week. So click subscribe, it'd be good to have you around for some more. Keep on playing and have a musical day.